type of modals such as can, could and then we learnt about will. So in today's lecture we are going to discuss about another type of modal which is would. Now as could was the polite form of can similarly in order to make the sentence look more polite and in a form of a request we make use of would instead of will. So what will be the definition? That would that for making request would is used in place of will. So for making request we make use of would basically and would is also used to indicate or to show someone's wishes. Again, usage of would is to show someone's wishes. For example, would you Go with me. Now this is a request. Right? It is an interrogative request. That request is in polite form. Why? Because I am making use of would instead of will. Will you go with me? Okay. Fine. But would you go with me? It makes a better sense for request. Again this shows First is it indicates a request. Second, it indicates the wish of a person or the choice of a person. Now here a person can say yes or no. Right? So in today's video, we are going to understand different areas or different fields where wood can be used. And the first sentence in which would can be used is first is for making request right so let us say that this is the first form where would can be used that is would is used for making request would you go with me would you give me your dress So all these are the examples of making request. Another area where would can be used is for probabilities or likeliness of something to happen. So this is another condition we can say where would is used for making some kind of probability or something which may happen in future or likeliness for something to occur. For example, I can say Tina would be in London by now. Now, I am just considering this situation might happen now, but I'm not sure. I'm just making some kind of assumption or some kind of probability that she she would be in London by now. She Now, what the sentence means that she has left for London, but I'm not sure whether she has reached or not. So, I'm saying that Tina would be in London by now. Another example can be Sonia would be there for me in future. 
Now I am again making an assumption or I am thinking about a probability that okay Sonia is my friend, she is my confidant and she would be there with me in future. But again I am not sure there might be some chance that um, misunderstandings may occur and then maybe she would not be there for me. But right now, looking at the bond that we are having, I am making a probability that she would be there for me in future as well. So this is the second area where will can be used. Now the third area where would can be used is for making some kind of preference or some kind of choices. And for this type, would is always used with rather. So the third form where would can be used is for making some kind of preference. And in this case, we say would plus rather. So whenever we make use of would with rather, this is a case where some kind of preference or for, for, where some kind of choice is made. Example over here can be, I would rather buy jeans. Now here, I am making some kind of choice or I am making some kind of preference among some things or between two things or something like that. Now suppose I am given a choice to buy a jeans or to buy a top. Now I wish to buy jeans. So I will say that out of the two, I would rather buy jeans. So here this shows the preference that I am given some choice and then I am picking something out of those choices. So I would rather buy jeans. Another example is Rina would rather accompany me which means that if Rina is given a choice to go with me or with some other person I am dead sure that she will go with me. So again I know that what will be the preference of Rina because she is my close friend she will always choose me. Therefore, I am saying Rina would rather accompany me. So this is the case where wood is used for some kind of preference. Now, the fourth area or the fourth condition where wood can be used is for making uh, some kind of unrealistic imaginations. Right? For showing some kind of imaginations which are unrealistic in nature or which practically are not possible. So for unrealistic imaginations. Right? Um, example can be if A jinn asked me for a wish I would wish for a long life. Right? I would wish for a long life. Now, I would wish. This is something I would wish for a long life or I can say I would wish to become the richest person in the world. Right? If I say not for a long life, but I would wish to become the richest person in the world. 
Now, this is practically not possible. Now, just by wishing, you will become the richest person in the world. This is something unrealistic. So, when we speak about something unrealistic, then we make use of the word would. Neither will a jinn ever approach anyone, nor will the wish be ever fulfilled. So, this is something which is unrealistic. It is impossible in the present life. Uh, let me explain with some different example. Um, if I were there, I would have bought some flowers. Now again, if I were there, I am not there, right? So because I was not there, this thing would have not happened. So again, something unrealistic. So again, these are the sentences where what is used for some kind of imagination, right? If I am there, that means I am just imagining. I am not actually over there. Another area where... What is used is when we want to, uh, when we are talking about our past. Right? For something that has occurred in past, again, there is a chance of using what in that sentence. For example, when she was Young, she, Sheena would eat lots of ice cream. Again, I am talking about some past that when Sheena was young. Now, Sheena was young, which means that now she is not that young of the time that I am speaking. Now, she has grown old, right? Maybe she is now an adult, not that much of age, but not young now. So, when she was young indicates, the, my, indicates Sheena's past because I am talking about Sheena. Then I say, she would eat lots of ice cream. Now, she does not eat that much amount of ice cream. But when she was young, ice cream was her favorite. Right? So, she would eat a lot of ice cream. Again, I am making use of wood in the sentence which I am talking about past. Right? The sentence in which I am talking about past, in that sentence also, I can make use of the modal wood. Now, the sixth place where would is used is for making some kind of invitations, right? So, would can also be used for invitations. Invitations and requests are basically the same, right? Invitation can be like, would you like to... Attend my party. Again, I am requesting over here. I am asking. At the same time, I am also giving an open invitation that I am inviting you to attend my party. Right? So, the sentence like, I am inviting you to attend my party can also be like, would you like to attend my party? So, again, would is used for some kind of Invitation. Another example can be Would you stay with me at my place? Again, I am inviting someone to stay at my place. I am asking someone that can you please stay at my place. 
So this is again a simple invitation with request. When you invite something, automatically you are making a request, right? You do not command someone for any kind of inv invitation. Whenever you are inviting, you're making some kind of invitation. That sound is always in the form of a request. So the area where wood can be used is also for making some invitations. Another place where wood is used is for some kind of strong desire or for willingness. Right? When you strongly desire for something, we make use of wood. For example, I would always want you to stay happy. Now this is my wish. This is my prayer to someone that I would always want you to stay happy which means that I am wishing someone a happy life. Right? But this is also my strong desire, my strong prayer, my strong willingness that I want that person to always remain happy. This is my desire. So for that I will say, I would always want you to stay happy. Another example can be, I would like you to win the elections. Now this is my strong desire that you win the election. So again for showing some kind of desire, I make use of the word wood. And here wood is a modal. Another area where wood is used is for the conditional statements. And those are the statements or those are the scenarios which do not, which did not take place but I wish that it had taken place. So for the conditional statements again I will be making use of wood modal right. For example if Ram had visited me I would have given him some money. Now this is the condition or this is the scenario where Ram did not visit me. And since Ram did not visit me, I was not able to give him some money because maybe, according to me, maybe he needed the money. But since he did not visit me, I did not get the chance to help him with some money. So if Ram had visited me, this is a condition which, is, which did not take place. So that is a conditional statement and you know that if is always a condition. So whenever we use if, it shows some kind of conditional and if if is used, that statement becomes a conditional statement. So if Ram had visited me, I would have given him some money. Since he did not visit, the action did not happen. So a conditional statement that did not take place is also uh, you, in that statement, wood is always used. So, these were some of the criteria or some of the conditions where modal wood can be used.